This is the Continuum Lab. I'm Jeppe, musician, maker and your host on this visit. In the previous video we looked at the bamboo which makes up the main body of the open horn. And in the video before that I was making some keys also for the open horn. So in this video I'm going to work on an aspect of the project which combines both of these things. Uh, specifically the question of where to put each individual key on the actual piece of bamboo to make a comfortable key layout. Um, given that the pieces of bamboo are quite different in size, they will all need individual attention in that regard. But first, a short disclaimer. The continuum has no end and no beginning. It represents the sum total of all knowledge, stretching from the unnoticeably small and to the incomprehensibly vast. So the continuum lab is not really a physical space at all. I think of it as a state of mind, like a mental leap of faith from the comfortable platform of the known and into the infinite ignorance, where learning is the only method of propulsion. Welcome to the Continuum Lab. The key layout of the open horn is quite well defined. I have been working on it for a number of years now and um, the software essentially determines what keys go on here and then uh, the logic of ergonomics and where your fingers naturally fall uh, determines where the keys will go. This of course is the current prototype that you've already seen many times. Its uh, key layout is limited by the internodal distance between this node here and that node up there. And so uh, everything is more or less as compact as can be with uh, the left hand key section over here overlapping quite a lot in the middle with the right hand key section which is this one over here. But what then happens if you have a piece of bamboo uh, which is larger uh, or with different node distribution like this one that has a node at the top, node at the bottom and one in the middle. I find that there's no real generic solution for this except to go over each piece uh, individually, see what works and what doesn't and then take it from there. So uh, let's have a look at it. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's the uh, current prototype and here is uh, one of the longer pieces of bamboo. So obviously these are not going to have the same key layout. First of all, this one is much larger, and second of all, it has two sections with three nodes, and this, this thing here in the middle means that we're not going to have this same layout here where the two, uh, the left and the right hand sections overlap here in the middle. We're going to spread them out so that one is up here and one is down here. Also, I don't even know what side is up and what side is down on this piece of bamboo still. That has to be determined. And that has to be determined individually for each single piece because they're all quite different. So, these are all the pieces. But yeah, but I hear you say, uh, I distinctly remember there being 12 pieces and not 8 as uh, you can see here. Well, yes, you totally... Oh, sorry. There's 9 actually, including this large piece that I had already before the last shipment arrived. 9 pieces and not 12. And that's because I essentially discarded all of the uh, pieces of leopard spotted bamboo because they're just not good enough. I am going to make a second order of some... Uh, leopard spotted bamboo so I will be making some open horns with that as well but that's for a different video and so I came up with a handy way of uh, mocking up some keys these are individual pieces of uh, foam sticky tape that I cut out of uh, this roll right here it's essentially the kind of foam that you might see around the edge of a refrigerator door or a window or whatever and it comes in this sticky tape version which is super handy it uh, peels off uh, pretty easy it doesn't leave any residue and so I can experiment with the position of each key and get the key out exactly the way I want it. And also the thickness, 3 millimeter thickness here, makes it very tactile so that I can really feel what it's going to be like to have the keys in these positions. So I guess you can see what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I'm distributing the keys so that I avoid having any keys directly on the node, which has, has much thicker wood and would be a problem. Uh, and also just generally distributing such that uh, the instrument ends up in a, in a sensible position uh, in my hands uh, with my thumb in a good place to give a uh, decent uh, balance to the instrument and other factors like that. So uh, this was the first one I made and it still has a little uh, bit of tweaking to do um, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the general layout on this one. So uh, one down, eight to go. So I'm going to start with the, this one, which is the essentially the same length as the current prototype. And uh, so I can just copy the key layout over and then uh, after that I'll adjust it a little bit because there are a couple of things about the key layout on this prototype which I'm not totally happy with. 
So uh, first thing, copy this over key by key. The problem I have with this key layout here is that there, I think there's a little bit too much space between these keys up here and possibly between these keys as well. So basically all of the main keys are a little bit too spaced out. So you can see the individual pieces just peel right off and you can just um, stick them back on there. Some very good glue on these things. There. That does feel better. Not bad. It's really worth it to just pay extra attention in this step because um, of course good ergonomics and the comfort while you're playing is, is essential but also once you actually make a hole in the bamboo for, for the key there's no going back, there's no undo key and uh, so you want to just pay extra close attention while you're considering these things so that uh, you don't regret something later on. Okay I'm gonna leave this one the way it is for now um, afterwards I will revisit all of them and uh, measure out where I put the slider and then perhaps uh, consider some other things such as the, uh, the distribution of the belly sections and the thumb support and so on. But for now this is, uh, this is good enough. So as I'm doing this I'm also um, deciding what way is up and what way is down on each piece of bamboo. In this case for example there's some lighter sections here on this side and some darker sections here on this side. I'm not really sure how I prefer to uh, to use it. Another uh, important consideration is that uh, the bottom section here is a lot thicker. This piece is obviously getting quite close to the root section of the bamboo and so the wall here is quite a lot thicker than up here and so one end of this uh, piece of bamboo is heavier than the other. So that's also important to consider. Now my preference is to uh, keep the heavy piece at the bottom and then uh, because the the uh, the thumb rest essentially is going to be closer to the bottom end and so I would like a little bit extra weight here to better counterbalance um, the mouthpiece and that. So so that's that's pretty much the side. I'm going to put the bottom end down here, thumb rest here. This one has a slight curve and so um, in order for it to be balanced it would probably be more healthy for it to turn this way where the thumb will be at a high point and the uh, the end pieces will be drooping a little bit. So um, okay, so uh, I'm having second thoughts about this piece here. Um, I'm going to put this one aside. I will save it, but uh, I'm not going to bother to give it a key layout for now. Mostly because this line here is not very attractive. So uh, I have other and much prettier pieces of bamboo to work with. So put this one aside. It can go play with the uh, pieces of leopard spotted bamboo in the box of shame. Let's see if we can find something nicer. Yeah, this piece is spectacular. And without a uh, really noticeable difference in uh, wall thickness from one end to the other. So, so that's pretty much ideal. Okay, so after doing this whole thing, I'm still not completely convinced. It feels like it, the weight is really towards the mouthpiece here and, and I don't like it. So I'm going to actually turn this one around again and to shift all the keys so that uh, I get a higher... Yeah, that's much nicer. So that I get a higher point of uh, contact with my thumb here, which will give a much better balance. Okay, that might be slightly better, but now the slight angle of the uh, piece of bamboo is actually working against me and it feels kind of weird. The, the, the reason why I don't just turn the whole piece over and use it like this is because there are a few uh, blemishes on the side here, uh, which I was hoping to basically cut out when I installed the belly sections. So um, I'm going to leave it like this for now. This is uh, probably not going to be my favorite piece but um, I would probably be able to uh, make it work. So I'm going to put that in a separate pile 
quartet where I put my non-favorite pieces and just keep going. So once uh, I have this mock-up of the keys, um, it's really much more tactile than visual the way I, I judge the results. In this case, it feels super comfortable. A few little tweaks here and there. Feels really good. Uh, this is definitely going to go in uh, my favorite pieces. It's a beautiful piece of bamboo, uh, very well weighted and uh, could potentially be a very nice open horn. So I guess you see where this is going. I'm going to have to do the same with these last four pieces. Uh, why don't you come and have a closer look at the process. So the last two pieces that I have left are a little bit different. Uh, this is the original large piece that I already had before. I got the last shipment of bamboo and it has uh, three notes, so two internodal spaces. But this last note here is really long and so I think I might be doing some experiments with a different kind of mouthpiece up here. Um, but I'm still gonna do just do a mock-up of the uh, key layout and see how that works should be roughly equivalent to the rest of them, the rest of the two sections ones. But this one is totally different. This is a, a three section piece with uh, four notes. It's just such a really awesome and beautiful piece of bamboo that I'm going to try to use it in its entirety. So I might have to do some custom work uh, on the belly section specifically to make that work. But um, I definitely think it's, it's worth it. That's uh, nice, that feels pretty good. So the balance here is uh, a little bit off because it has this whole extra section uh, at the top, which I still don't know what I'm gonna do with. I might just take it off and uh, turn it into uh, the same kind of thing as this. I might have some plans for an alternative mouthpiece, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, that feels really nice. That has a night weight distribution to it. And uh, yeah, that, that feels pretty good. That's another spectacular piece of bamboo. I feel pretty good about that. So uh, as I mentioned, I'm also going to uh, just uh, put on the mug up slider here, uh, just so I can be sure that it's placed sensibly um, in all of these different uh, key layouts. So uh, let's just, let's do that. So I think now that I'm at it, I'm also going to uh, I'm also going to mark up the side keys that go on the opposite side from the slider. Uh, there's going to be six side keys there which can be operated with the side of your hand here or with your right thumb. This is the kind of distribution that I'm going with for now. Uh, it feels pretty sensible. The first one uh, here at the bottom is essentially right uh, on top of the thumb rest. So I just slide my thumb out and I have the first key there and then uh, the, it's quite easy to reach the rest of them. If I had another one on top of this, that would be almost too far away for me to reach and still be playing these keys here. Excellent. 
Okay, that's every single one of the keys on every one of these pieces of bamboo. This piece here, which as I mentioned, I had some doubts about, uh, I'm simply going to leave out of the equation and instead uh, focus completely on these seven awesome and beautiful pieces of bamboo that I have here and then I'm very very happy with. Uh, I am also going to make a separate order of uh, leopard spotted bamboo and see if I can't get some nice pieces that are a little bit smaller than these and so that will supplement with uh, a few more uh, open horn sized pieces. So that's all for today. I hope you can see how uh, there's really a lot of work that goes into each of these and how I am very selective in the uh, quality of the pieces that I end up using. Um, as is evidenced by the fact that I uh, cut out 12 pieces of bamboo that I thought were kind of okay and now I'm down to 7 that I think are just really awesome. So, um, so um, it's really hard to have a template or a set way of doing things when uh, you're working with these organic materials that are just so different from one piece to the next. So the next time you see these pieces will probably be when I'm actually ready to make the holes for the keys. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for a little while so that I can uh, have a good look at these pieces again and uh, play around with them a little bit, possibly tweak some of the key layouts until I'm uh, completely content with the results. So until then I'll be working on the design of the belly section, the design of the mouthpiece and uh, I'll be sure to uh, take you along for the ride. See you soon. Mm -hmm.